what is up YouTube I just want to introduce a really really fun video and give you guys a heads up that this is gonna be a good one I really enjoyed editing it and while I was fishing in general probably one of my favorites for a while it's me fishing on my dad my family's brand new boat my dad's wanted to buy his own boat my entire life and never really found the right one and he finally found a screaming deal in this gorgeous boat and us fables finally have a boat. Uh, we grew up using my uncles all the time, but it is so nice to have the freedom of our own boat to use whenever we want. It is a beautiful boat and I'm gonna put a little picture of me standing in it here. And this is me and Eric's first time on the boat ever. And we go with my brother, my mom, and my dad. And it just was a blast. We went out of Key Largo, which is a place we've never taken a boat out of before. We always go out of Isla Mirada. Shortly after this video, we did move it to Isla Mirada. So this was our first and probably last chance to go out of Key Largo, but it was so fun and the fishing was hot. Oh, it's a keeper, I think. Is that a snapper? Oh, is it? Is that a trigger fish? I don't know. No, that's something different. That's like some type of snapper, I think. Let's check it. Can I have the... Oh, there they Nice, Eric. Okay, so I just found out this is a porgy, and apparently there's no size limit on them. Really? Why, their charters are done? So we're going to keep them and see how he tastes. Here he is in the sun. Cool. This guy, Blue Runner, 
or something not keepable. So, yep, and I just let it go. Really? Oh yeah, I'm a little crazy. You recording? Yeah. Caught this thing a jack, I think, right? Some type of jack, Eric. Or He's, they're fighters, that's for sure. Or Steve. Letting them go. So, thanks, Steve. <laughs> See if we can get some more. Fish right here. We got them all chummed up. I need a weight on here actually. Why didn't I do that? Whoa! That's a fighter! Oh, he's a keeper size! Look out, Eric. Where's the pliers? I know, I can't even find yellow. Tail yellow. Triple tail? No, here, I'll find it. Wow, some just got scared. Did you hear that? Yeah. There's big ones out there. Oh. Well, that's okay, right? Yeah. Do you need some ice? I'm a dick lately. <laughs> Enjoy! <laughs> <laughs> We're laughing because Chucky, Chucky say hi to the camera. Hey, He's Chuck. feeling a little queasy. <laughs> Eric's feeling a little queasy. I'm not too. feeling so hot. Really? Just, I think it's dehydration and hot. Well, all those things all you can I fix. Yeah, hold on, let me show them my knife real quick. This is the knife I've been using to cut up bait, guys. You've seen me talk about it before. It's Tassie Tiger Knife. I'll put a link right here. It's a knife company out of Australia. You can use Bridget 10 to save 10%. It's shade here, huh? Oh, hey. What did you guys think of that video? Let me know if you've ever caught some of those fish that I mentioned and stay tuned for some catch and cooks for those porgy and yellowtail. I've already had them and I can tell you they are delicious, but I'm gonna show you how I cooked them, how I filleted them, the whole nine yards. But that was so much fun. I really enjoyed being with my family on that new boat. It was a great time. I was the only one that never felt an ounce of seasick. I have a pretty tough stomach when it comes to rough seas probably because I'm so into fishing I, I don't let it bother me at all my eyes just on the prize I could have kept fishing for hours but we ended up having to go in because everyone was feeling kind of queasy and I was the only one that was like um oh you're dehydrated can we fix this can you eat a sandwich can you drink something can I please just fish for like another hour <laughs> but my brother I think was feeling it pretty bad my mom and dad felt it and Eric was saying he felt it too Luckily, I didn't feel it. I'm pretty grateful I don't get seasick. It would really mess with my fishing habits. <laughs> but it was pretty rough seas out there. And when you're anchored and you're just rocking a lot like this and big roller waves come, I do understand how it can make people queasy. One last question for you guys. Do you or do you not get seasick? I'm curious. Don't feel bad if you do or you don't. You can't control it. I know this for a fact just from knowing charter boat captains and stuff you can't control. But thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time on my next YouTube video. Bye, guys. To the brink of rage, like a lion in a rusted out circus cage. I want to break these bars and make you understand.